That was fun. Good afternoon from the Boise office of the Idaho Freedom Foundation. I am Dustin Hurst, the communication director here for the foundation with Wade Hoffman, the president. How are you, sir? I'm fantastic. Thanks for asking. Last time we saw you on Facebook Live, I believe you were uh, hoofing it around Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were. Fun. Yeah, you were, run were you running? I was running. Yeah, he's a runner. I'm not, I'm as you can tell. <laughs> but uh, we both have really cool tennis shoes on that you can't see. So today we're not going to take a bunch of your time, but, but uh, I want to get into detail very quickly about the, the pool issue in Meridian. Um, voters there are going to face three three bond levies? Three. Three, three bond measures. On one single ballot. Yep, so it's, that's about, uh, what did we figure? About a quarter of a, a, quarter of a billion dollars. And that's before interest. Bef uh, what was it before interest? Yeah, that's what, that's what Sean told us. Yeah. Quarter of a billion dollars before yeah. interest and maybe somewhere up, you know, $300 million with um, with interest included. So, so tell me, uh, with focusing on the pool proposal for now, what what's all the uh, the news about on the pool? Side? Sure. So, just to be clear, so there are there are three bond measures. There's a, a proposal for College of Western Idaho campus in Boise. There's another proposal for the, the library bond. And I could talk all day long about how horrible those proposals are, but I wanted to focus specifically on just the Western Ada Recreation District. A lot of people haven't heard of that, but the Western <coughs> Ada Recreation District is the district that runs the pool and a couple of parks in Meridian. Right. And what they're asking for is two new aquatic centers, indoor pools, uh, for Meridian residents. The problem with the proposal is it's, it, there's really not a lot of detail. I've been doing this kind of work on public policy you know, for about 25 years, and I've never seen such a, a, a proposal that had almost no details to it. When you ask the board members questions about their own bond, they can't give you answers. In fact, I asked earlier this week the chairman of the board, Charlie Roundtree, to tell me how many folks are going to use the pool. And he only just got back to me uh, just about an hour ago mm -hmm. with uh, some numbers, and I don't even know where he got the numbers, but he said, oh, there'll be three or 400 people use uh, the South Pool, the pool that's connected to the YMCA, which gets us to really the heart of the issue, which is I understand that folks in the community are, cons are concerned and they're confused about whose pool this is. Well, the pool technically would belong to the taxpayers. They would be paying $20 million for them. Um, they'd be paying, I think it's about uh, $14 per $100,000 in value. Right now they're paying about $9. So they're going to have their taxes increased to about $23 per $100,000. Mm -hmm. Huge increase, uh, more than doubling their current um, uh, uh, tax. But in addition to that, it looks to me like this is not designed to be anything more than a proposal to get taxpayer money to the YMCA. But but let me let me push back on you there, Wayne. Um, I, I would thank you so much. Um, I guess Probably that, Facebook. Well then then let me do this. Let me let me act like the legacy media. Sure, right why do you hate kids? Why just, why do you hate kids? Because what what we hear from proponents is that um, you know and, and this is actually on the, the commission or the district's website, we need we need more swimming lessons. And they literally say we need more swimming lessons and people will die right. if we don't get more swimming lessons, so vote for this bond. That, that's the logical string. So why do you hate kids? Yeah, as, as if people aren't, aren't taking swimming lessons elsewhere. You know, there are plenty of places to take swimming lessons that already exist in the community. Frankly, the Idaho Athletic Club, which isn't that far away, um, the uh, Nampa Recreation Center, there, there are just a variety of different options already available to people for swimming lessons, so it's a very silly argument. But in addition to that, I just listened to what the residents of Meridian are saying. They, the, the city surveyed the residents and said, what are your top priorities for the city? And the top priority wasn't more indoor swimming pools. It was things like parks and um, outdoor uh, biking and walking paths. Um, and I think, if I remember correctly, uh, indoor pools was like sixth or seventh on the list mm. of things that they might want. So this is a project that is being pushed by the YMCA. In fact, if you go back and look at the history of this, a couple of years ago, the YMCA was looking to build a new recreation center in Meridian. Mm -hmm. And they got the funding apparently for the recreation center, but couldn't quite work up the funding to get support for the pool. So what they did was they went to the West Ada Recreation District because, of course, taxpayers have limitless money 
and said, hey, oh, Boise, totally uh, West Area Recreation District, would you please put this on the ballot? And temporarily, that was on the ballot in 2015. Mm -hmm. it, was on, it was slated to be on the ballot in the November 2015 election, and then it was pulled back because the public really hadn't gotten enough notice about it. And this year, so they've had a whole year to flesh out the details and let us know exactly what it is <laughs> that they're going to be asking for. And even as of a week ago, they still couldn't tell us what they were going to do with the money sure. or how it was going to be spent. So it's about making an informed decision. We we may not necessarily, um, as, as a foundation, we may not take a position on this, but at the very least, um, we should have informed voters who know yeah. the exact details. And I think the thing that bugs or would bug a lot of people is knowing that they're going to pay $20 million for this plus interest, um, which is, you know, they're, they're coming off their property taxes, but then they are, will also have to pay to get into the YMCA to use the pool that they're paying for in their property taxes. That, that's a correct That's understanding? correct. Now yeah. ask me, how much would I pay yeah, okay, to actually me. go to the pool and or, use Or else it. I'm fired. Um, but, 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 how much would you pay in Meridian? No, no one knows because <laughs> the, literally the West Ada Recreation District says, just Put it on. Just we'll just put it on the ballot. You guys vote for it, right. and we'll get back to you later on. Wait, 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 wait. So what you're telling me is we have we have a Nancy Pelosi situation. You this have is, this is a, a pool Obamacare. You have to pass it to know what's in it. Wow, that's not that's not a metaphor I like with pools <laughs> anyway. Just there is to be anyway. You have to you have to pass it to know to be able to swim in it. You have to pass it to know how much you're going to pay to swim in it. You have to pass it to know what's in the pool to be able to swim in it. You know, somebody was complaining on on Twitter the other like day that, that we can't have a tea party in Idaho because there's no like water around. Maybe we should go throw some tea. Never mind. Um, so closing up because we we need to keep these videos brief, but. Uh, What's the one takeaway? Voters in Meridian, uh, what should they do uh, before this vote comes in November? And other voters who might you know, not be in Meridian, but they watch us, support us, what's their takeaway here? I, I think voters have to ask some really tough questions. And you know, typically, you would expect that the governing board that would put this on the ballot would answer those questions largely. And then you can answer whether their, their answers are sufficient enough, which happens all the time. Oh, that's not supposed oh, to happen. Oh, no. Oh no, are we still alive? Technical difficulties uh -oh. there. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> wow, that was. Wow. This, this, we, are, we are totally professionals we here. We are absolutely. These okay. Never happened. Anyway, the, 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 it's up to the, to, the, to, the, to the district that puts us on the ballot to have some answers right. for the voters. That should be expected. In this case, the district has basically said, we're not going to answer the questions unless we're asked questions. And even then, a lot of times when I ask questions, they'll either direct me to the YMCA mm -hmm. or they'll direct me to the Friends of Meridian, the folks that are supporting the bond, right. to answer questions about their bond proposal. So it's really up to the voters of Meridian to ask some tough questions and make sure that their answers are satisfactory. Right now, I'm afraid the answers aren't very satisfactory. We're hearing a lot of uh, equivocations about what may be, in fact, part of this whole project hinges on an operations agreement between the West Ada Recreation District and the YMCA, which will be signed sometime after voters approve the, the mm. proposal. That's very good. So we don't even have a, 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 an operating agreement to even look at and question whether it's appropriate. Here's the bottom line. I think this is really about cronyism. Right. This is a form of corporate welfare. The YMCA is, no, look, uh, the YMCA is a good organization. That's why a lot of times these proposals don't get questioned because they really rely on the good graces of the communities in which they operate, but the taxpayers are funding uh, the Y in Boise with the West uh, Boise Y. Uh, they're funding the Caldwell Y. They're funding the uh, uh, the Mountain Home Project of the sure. Recreation District there. And all throughout the country, these different projects, their business model now in recent years has been to go get taxpayer dollars to subsidize their projects. Sure. So um, that's what's on the ballot really in Meridian. Right. And I think voters need to be cautious and, and really aware of what's being asked of them. Sure. Very good. Thank you. Um, we're going to close off today, but before we do, I just want to put in a pitch. Um, behind us is a, a poster for our upcoming short film, Hope Vetoed. Um, it's going to show in Salmon on October 27th in Idaho Falls on November 15th and Boise November 17th. All show times are 7 p.m. We'd love to, to share that with you. Uh, go to hopevito.com to, to reserve your seats and, and uh, see a wonderful trailer that makes me cry every time I see it. Um, otherwise, thank you for supporting us. Wait, are we supposed to do our weekly thumb wrestle? No, we're supposed no. to. No. You, you've lost 52 weeks in a row, so I don't want to embarrass you. Your hands are a lot bigger than mine. Is that
I'm not going to. Oh, we're not supposed to talk about that. Sorry. Whoops. HR violation. <laughs> and uh, with that, we're going to close up here at the Idaho Freedom Foundation. Um, contact us, Dustin at IdahoFreedom.org, Wayne at IdahoFreedom.org, if you have questions or concerns um, about any issues, but particularly about the Meridian uh, bond issues. Um, thanks. Talk to you later. Keep.